Hey, what's up, guys? It's your long lost playing with myself. Uh, I'm here because uh, a couple people may might miss me. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my September hauls. Uh, I will be back October 12th. But until then, this is some of the stuff that's come in. So this was my Toy Migos uh, pick of the month. I got in the NECA creature from the Black Lagoon. This guy is dope. Obviously, he was my pick of the month. I love him, and I mention it in the pick of the month. But he's got a little articulated jaw. Check that out. So freaking cool. And this thing is packed with articulation for a NECA figure. So it's got like double joints and lots of torso articulation. Very, very poseable. I own the Jada Toys creature from the Black Lagoon. Actually, both versions, the full painted version and the glow in the dark. I have one of the Super 7 reaction figures. So I am a bit of a creature from the Black Lagoon fan. Um, and this one does not disappoint. And it's going to go on my Universal Monsters shelf with the rest of my NECA Universal Monsters. So that ends the NECA segment and into the land of G.I. Joe Classified. So G.I. Joe Classified continues to crush it. Uh, PulseCon, they literally won PulseCon with their reveals. Um, I pre-ordered just about everything that they showed off. I'm super excited for that Shockwave figure. I think I pre I did Shotgun Approach with Sho Shockwave, and I pre-ordered him from Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, and Amazon. Um, Shockwave was one of my favorite figures when I was younger, so I'm very, very much looking forward to him, but everything that they showed off. Very, very cool. Anyway, back into halls. Focus, Adam, focus. I got in my Trouble Bubbles. So Trouble Bubble, very, very cool. Um, this is the goofiest Cobra vehicle ever, but this is a very great recreation of it. Um, some people noted some issues with like, oh, the missiles fall off on the sides. That's there are definitely a right and left missile. So turn your if yours are falling off easily, turn them upside down and plug them in the other side. They should sit in there a little bit more comfortably. Um, also, you might like some people were talking about like that the bubble itself doesn't pop in quite as well as it should. I did like mine had a little bit of a gap. So I went with an exacto knife and I trimmed just a little bit from one of the pegs in the corner. And that thing is snug in there now and perfect. So should you have to do it? No, but it's a very, very easy little fix. Um, and then also everyone's wondering about the mine. I think some people have said it. You can like it's supposed to be for like an unmanned trouble bubble, I believe. So it's literally supposed to just sit in the seat there. But you can also in the back of this center gun, there's a tiny little hole. That's what she said. And you stick that in. That's also what she said. But yeah, you can have the little the mine can just plug in right there. Um, and if you do position the gun and stuff right, it will just sit down. Do I wish it had a flight stand? Yes, of course, I do wish it had a flight stand, but it doesn't. So I'll figure something out and it'll be somewhere on that shelf back there. Um, I currently have the Army Builder helmet on there, but it does come with uh, two additional heads. So a Caucasian and an African-American so that way you can army build. I did end up with two trouble bubbles. I went and pre-ordered a second one. I have not opened the second one yet because I got to figure out where the heck I'm going to display all this stuff, especially with his tank incoming. So many figures being released. And then obviously the dragonfly at some point. Who knows where I'm going to put this all. Um, Hasbro Pulse also gave me a snow job. So I got an awesome, awesome snow job in from Hasbro Pulse. This figure is great. Uh, love it. Love that he can store all of his crazy stuff on there. So he's got the skis. He's got the little snow boot things. Um, he's got his gun, uh, the big rifle, the small pistol. And then he also does come with uh, Zach Galifianakis unmasked head. 
I mean, skinny Zach Galifianakis, but Zach Galifianakis nonetheless, and also the uh, hood down. And then I've got him with the goggles on. The goggles are removable. Um, this figure's great. Uh, when I lived in New York, I would have loved bringing this guy out in the snow. Now I live in L.A. And uh, I mean, I guess I'm going to bring him outside in the winter and he'll just be like overdressed for the kind of cool weather but uh maybe maybe i'm i am planning on going to visit my parents uh in december for their 50th wedding anniversary congratulations mom i know you occasionally watch toy amigos so uh congratulations in december for making it 50 years with dad i know it's been a long haul um but yeah snow job so he'll maybe go with me to new york to celebrate their wedding anniversary I'll give my mom and dad a snow job for their anniversary. It's weird. This is weird. This is getting really weird. Maybe we are, we might have to edit this. Uh, <laughs> then the the last of my GI Joe classified that I've got in thus far. I have do have more on the way because of course wouldn't be me without getting tons of toys. But uh, I got Tunnel Rat in, and I love this figure. Uh, Tunnel Rat obviously is. Um, from the 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 movie so he was one of the new characters introduced with chuckles and falcon and everything um this figure is fantastic though uh he is um he was supposed to be basically an homage to larry hama who wrote all the file cards um he's also shorter than the other characters so of course i love him um but the figure is fantastic he comes comes with a ton of gear of which can all be stored on him you know big fan of that I keep going on and on and on about it. But uh, yeah, lo love this guy very much. And then uh, finally, I actually just finished up a custom. Um, this was very much inspired, 100% inspired by our friend June at uh, Jada Toys. So he, on a previous Toy Amigos episode, I wish I knew which episode number, but one of the ones that June was on, he showed off Fei Long that he had popped on a NECA shredder head. And I was like, ah, that looks dope. I love the Fei Long figure. Fei Long is literally my favorite Jada Toys Street Fighter figure at the moment. I mean, I've Ryu, Fei Long, and Chun Li. Fei Long's my favorite. Uh, he's probably going to be in my top 10. So, another spoiler for you guys. But um, I thought that was a super dope idea that June had. And I actually had an extra NECA Mirage shredder from way back in the day when I was army building the Foot Clan Ninja and he was sold in a set with them. So I had an extra shredder and I was like, you know what? I'm going to copy June's idea and take it all the way home. So I ripped all of the shredder elements off, including taking the helmet off of the head and I uh, I put the helmet on over Fei Long's head. So that is Fei Long's head there. Um, the, the whole figure is Fei Long. So hands, feet, body, head, all Fei Long. And then it's all of NECA's shredder parts. So like all the armor parts are then glued on. Um, I did do some sculpting of the little, like minor, minor sculpting of the wraps to hold on some of the armor bits and pieces um, and some very minor painting, not much, but I painted his, his little booties black. And then uh, it's a Max Bird cape. So Max Bird makes a, a NECA shredder cape. And then, like I said, I took the helmet, I, I Dremel, I had to Dremel it out a little bit, but the head is a separate piece. And I put that on over the Fei Long head. And then I actually even did his additional hands so I because the NECA shredder had additional hands. So I he has swappable little hands so he can do the old stuff. And basically, this is like kind of a homage to the Playmates, the original Playmates shredder figure that was bare chested black pants. He had like kind of I think it was like teal, like Augil probably correct me um, if this is playing during an episode. But um, the original Playmates one had like kind of like teal armor elements but then he had a cape that was like tied around his waist i think with an elastic band but he was bare chested so like that's the idea is it's supposed to be like 
an homage to the Playmates figure. And then um, obviously anyone that has Fei Long knows that Fei Long came with two heads. So I actually took the other head. So I made it so you could swap the head out. Let's see if I could show it. Um, and the other head, I scarred him up a little bit. So you have an unmasked Oroku Saki with some scars on his face also. So swappable hands, swappable heads. And I have a uh, Fei Long, like super poseable. Like this thing is so much fun to mess with. Like it is crazy to play with and fun. And um, it's actually a really nice scale along with the um, 5K Toys Spring, the third party uh, Ninja Turtles. So I don't have, he's like all the way over there. Otherwise I would grab him and show you. But I do plan on taking pictures of this and posting it on my customs page, um, Industrial Strength Customs. It might, I haven't taken pictures yet. So I don't know when Cheney's planning on putting this haul video into the mix, but I may have taken pictures and posted them. If not, they're coming soon. Um, so yeah. Thanks to June for the awesome idea. And uh, I, I'm very happy with how this custom came out. And uh, that's it for my hauls, guys. And I will see you October 12th. And time, that's it. Um, and I guess just for the going for the road here, uh, plus ultra.